Hello, everyone. D.B. Paul on AmbientVibes.com. Somebody on the Facebook forums the other day brought up the, ish, the uh, subject of polyphony and whether or not the Quadnik module from Studio Electronics was an able poly polyphonic module. And other people brought up the point, quite rightly so, I have to admit, that it's kind of a hassle to set up. And it is. It is a four-voice VCO with four individual volt per, uh, volt per octaves. But each time you power it off, it loses its settings. You have to power it back on. So the question is, is this really a hassle to do? And while it might seem to be that way for the first few times that you use it and learn to remember the different uh, key presses and knob turns and all that, after a while, you can set it up extremely quickly. And I'm going to show you just how quickly I can get a chord to come out of this. Okay? So let's go ahead and, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug in the individual outs. And I'm going to plug in a Volper Octave from a keyboard. And we're going to shut it off, turn it back on, and see how long it takes for us to come up with a chord. Off. On. OK, here we go. What you're hearing at first is channel 1. Wow, wow, wow. You have to turn it on. not difficult at all again one is already uh, is already active all you have to do is tune it to the proper note number two you turn up the amplitude proper note three four you're done master mode you're in chords it is really actually very simple to set up it takes a maximum of 20 seconds to get all of our voices going now, as you can see, I have four outputs coming out. The reason why I do this is so that I can have four individual notes coming out. One, two, individual outputs also allows us to do is change the different wave shapes of each one. So I'm going to turn up one only, change the wave shape. Also do with the quadnic is that it has built-in algorithms to change the uh, 
to change each individual voice. We have addition, mul uh, multiplying of voices. We have FM1, FM2, sequencing, and then sequ uh, synchronizing one and two. What you can do now, I'm going to take an individual voice. Let's take this one, which is voice one. I'm going to change this. Another mode that you can use Quadnik for is you can control each individual note on each individual oscillator. So that means you essentially have four oscillators in a single module, each independently controlled. If you use something like the Ornament and Crime that you see down here in one of its sequencing modes, you can have, for example, four Turing Machine sequences going on at the same time, each channel operating each oscillator on here, or a Harrington or copy machine. So you get shift register, voices coming out. Quatnik is actually, for its price, is an extremely packed module. There's a lot that can be done with it, as long as you get over the fact that each time you power off, you have to set it up again. It's not really an issue once you do it a few times. It's second nature. Again, turn it up, individual channel, tune it, push the button, you're done. It's not really that big of a deal. So if you're looking for polyphony, I highly recommend the Studio Electronics uh, Quadnik. A lot of people are selling them off cheap because they could become easily frustrated by it. I would suggest picking one up if you really want to get a basic polyphony module that has a few uh, features packed into it as well. Thanks for watching.